walk with me while I'm on this tedious journey. I want you to Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook to walk with me. Now, with that being said, brother, that's the perfect segue to where I'm going because before I could begin my new walk, my newfound faith, I had to hit them knees, man. Talk about it. I had to have a prayer life mm. that was so mean, that was so true, mm. that I had dedicated myself to. That is another thing that initiated where I'm at right now. Mm. I'm going to say without that, I wouldn't have gotten to the point to be able to write this book. Mm. Without that, my spirit wouldn't have been renewed. I wouldn't be experiencing such a rebirth. I wouldn't be refined in my mind. I wouldn't understand a true restoration of health to make me want to change my diet. And I just wouldn't have been renewed overall. I had to, again, I say it's important. You have to make atonement for your errors. Mm for your sins, mm. for your wickedness, and for going astray. You can't just come back after I done done something to you and act like I didn't do it. I got to make atonement, bro. Man, I know I was I was out of pocket mm. and I was going the wrong direction and, and I'm, I want to apologize. Mm. I want you to, I want to ask for your forgiveness so that we can mend our relationship. Mm. That's first and foremost. And see, prayer, you know, once you get a certain degree of knowledge, and we also have teachers, man, that have been inside our community, the black conscious community, okay. that have made prayer seem lesser than what it is. Mm. It has made prayer seem as if it's some form of begging. Mm. And if as if that's a bad thing, mm. because I had to beg. Mm. I went back to God begging. Come so on, I man. did go to God. And I was begging God, please, Lord, allow me back inside the kingdom. Come on now. Please, Lord, forgive me for all of my iniquities and for why I am wrong and went astray. And I have forsaken all of your grace. The prodigal son. So again, mm. a lot of times we get so smart and we listen to these teachers to where we forget the things that our mothers did, the things that our grandmothers did. See, a lot of us grandma didn't know nothing about, no Bobby Hemet, no Fields or mm -hmm. Valentine's or none of these metaphysical occult teachers. Mm. They didn't know nothing about this shit, but their prayers were answered. Mm. So how is it that we get so smart that we forget the fundamentals? Mm. And that's something that I had to go back to and I am so thankful for God's grace and mercy, for allowing me, mm -hmm. the, for imparting the wisdom in me to say, wait a minute, you have to maybe go back and right some of these wrongs that you had, even some of the wrongs that you may have put out and say, I'll be the first to admit I was wrong about this, God. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I want to make atonement, God. I want to ask you, I want to be, if you are sitting here and you watching your family, your loved one, your child, whoever it is, you watching them suffer, and it might be their end, their last day. You're not going to beg God just to give them. You're not going to say, please, God, please, Lord. Whatever. So to think hmm. that that's some form, so, so, to, so to give prayer a negative connotation, or to even be as bold as to say, I command you, God, to, like, who the, who the fuck are you, man? How did you get this bowl to where you, now you are just commending the same God that you might say, God gave me this, or God showed me this in a dream and a vision. If he's showing you something and he's being uh, merciful enough to show you, how do we get to the point of being arrogant in the very next breath and say, oh, I'm not gonna pray. Praying is, that's, that's for beggars. <laughs> yeah, so again, prayer, bro, is something that got me to this point uh, being able to submit again because that's where I realized that I had to do to repent and submit to do the will of God mm. and that right there is one of the things the main thing that opened up the line of communication between me 
and the Father, back to what we were saying again. Remember our Heavenly Father? That's what we like to say, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So again, if if we don't have uh, a respect for our Father that actually birthed us, how are we honoring the Heavenly Father? See, these are two things one and the same, so we have to look at this from a natural a, and mm -hmm. a spiritual mm -hmm. aspect and begin to merge these two things, concepts, and not try to uh, separate them. Uh, prayer and meditation, yeah, because I, I'm, I'm guilty of being one of those ones. I'm okay with being transparent with the family. I'm guilty of being one of the ones who thought I had studied my my metaphysical, metacostal self, you know, uh, to a, a stage of uh, no, I don't, I don't pray. Uh, I meditate. That's what I do. I, I don't, I don't pray. But I have come to uh, realize another transparent through the help of my brother, showing me and talking me through the 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 arrogance, if you will, and. One day, transparent moment, my brother's asking me, do I pray? So I went into the hole, uh, I, I meditate. <laughs> I, I, I mean, yeah, I, I meditate. I don't, I don't necessarily pray. I mean, and he said, see, 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 that might be where you're going wrong, brother. He said, uh, 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 what did mama and them do? What your mama do? I said, my mama was a prayer warrior. My mama, I can remember my mama getting in the closet, physically in the closet and pray. He said, well, he said, well, uh, uh, he said, well, that's, that's, that's probably what you need to do, brother. If you're not seeing the results that you desire to see in your life, you, you need to go back. He, he actually was including himself. We need to go back to how mama and them and granny and them did. And from that day forward, I started to reacquaint myself with my prayer ability because again, I come from a praying mama and my mama allowed me to pray as a youngster, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years old. She gave me the respect, if you will, to pray for her sometimes. And she even testified of having a headache one time and she told me to pray for her and she, she said the headache went away. So this is what we're saying here. Prayer and meditation is two different concepts, but both are needed. Meditating, you, you're listening, you see, for what God has to say. But prayer, like in the scriptures, it say, ask and, she, and ye shall receive. In order to ask, you got to use your mouth. So prayer is a form of asking. And like the brother say, in some cases, you can be begging because it depends on what type of situation that you personally in or that individual that you praying for. They might be in a, in a sticky situation that y'all both are uh, on one accord about, that you begging God to deliver them, uh, heal them, set them free, etc. So again, prayer is talking to God. And we got to talk with that throat and that mouth. Power of life and death is in the tongues. So you got to say something. And that's where the prayer come in at. And I want to end it with this. Since I've been reacquainted with my prayer life, I've been seeing instant manifestations of my mm. prayers. Amen. And I give thanks. Amen.